everyone, I'm Colleen with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Charity is a virtue that is practically synonymous with the saints. Many of these blessed men and women are known for what they did in their life to help the poor. Today's saint is a man who made it his life's mission not just to offer the downtrodden a helping hand, but to lift them up so they might support themselves. Leonard Murialdo was born in 1828 in Turin, Italy. He was the seventh child among nine children and the first son. The Murialdo family was both religious and affluent. And as was not unusual for large wealthy families, Leonard was sent to a boarding school in Savona when he was around eight years old. Leonard had an uneventful early education, but during his high school years, he fell in with a bad crowd and suffered a painful spiritual crisis. Fearing for the state of his soul, he left Savona early, even though he had not completed his education. He went home to Turin and gave his first confession, returning to school a short while later. This time, he shifted his studies from the humanities to philosophy and history so he could avoid running running into the same badly behaved peers he had been stuck with before. Leonard wrote himself that he had never thought to become a priest, but he found himself called to the vocation after hearing a particularly powerful sermon said by a Capuchin friar. He completed his education at Savona and immediately began pursuing his new calling. By 1851, he was ordained a priest. In the years following, he happened to meet with two other future saints in Turin, John Bosco and Joseph Cafasso. In the presence of these holy men, who proved to be much better company than his high school acquaintances, he spent years preaching and teaching. He also spent more time furthering his own education in Paris. In 1866, he was asked to oversee the Artigianelli boarding school. He hesitated, but soon agreed to take the post provisionally. He excelled in this position, and despite his initial reluctance, ended up running the school for the rest of his life. Leonard became passionate about education and creating a better environment for apprentices and workers. He founded a press association as well as a newspaper, which later became known as the Voice of the People. Even as his health declined in his old age, he continued to seek opportunities to improve life for the youth and the average tradesman. He founded agricultural centers for young delinquents and spoke to the local council regarding reforms that would extend a young person's education and abolish exploitative working hours. St. Leonard died of pneumonia in the year 19 and was canonized in 1970. The Congregation of St. Joseph, which he founded during his priesthood, endures to this day and continues to support young workers in Italy. To give alms to the less fortunate is already a great thing, but it is not the only thing we can give. Knowledge and skill are incredibly valuable gifts too. Don't miss opportunities to share these gifts with those around you so they can continue to share them with others. St. Leonard Murialdo, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint. Awaken the Saint is made in partnership by Spoke Street Media and Awaken Catholic. For more podcasts, visit spokestreet.com.